Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos, and welcome to This Week in Mythic Plus. This week's affixes are Fortified, Bursting, Explosive, and Thundering. Now again, as it's the start of expansion, we've got potentially some returning players or some new players to Mythic Plus. Figure I'd quickly go through what these affixes all mean, and then we'll talk about some of the, the strategy implications uh, and route implications for the week as well. But on a high level, it's one of the better weeks that you can uh, you can find on the calendar for a coordinated group. It is going to be a little bit painful in some pugs, though. So let's talk about what the affixes do. Fortified, of course, makes the, the trash stronger, the bosses not stronger. So bosses will be relatively easier as compared to last week and next week, which were tyrannical weeks. Bursting is whenever most trash enemies die, they will give you a stack of bursting for a few seconds. That stack does damage. Uh, it is dispellable, uh, and if you get another stack, it will refresh the duration and add another stack to it. Uh, so with bursting, you want to be able to very clearly see how many stacks of bursting you have uh, and how long is left on them so that you can make sure that you don't extend and refresh the stacks uh, at the end of the duration, right? You want to let bursting fall off uh, before killing another mob. So in a coordinated group, this will happen pretty well. You'll kill four mobs around the same time. You get four stacks of bursting. That will tick down. And then as soon as it expires, everybody will kill the last mob. And uh, that will be fine. In a less coordinated group, what will happen is you'll like kill three mobs. And then right before the burst, the three stack falls off, somebody will kill the fourth mob and you'll get a fourth stack. And then right before that stack falls off, somebody will kill the fifth mob and you'll get a fifth stack. Uh, and that means a whole lot more damage taken, a whole lot more healing to be done. Uh, so that's one reason that it'll be tougher in less coordinated groups this week. The other reason is the other affix, Explosive, uh, is Explosive Orbs spawn from enemies. And those can be killed with basically one global targeting them. They can't be hit by AoE abilities. You can't do a slash target on them. You have to actually click on them. Any ability, any auto attack will basically take care of them. Uh, but if they don't get taken care of after a few seconds, they explode and deal uh, a lot of damage to the group. So if that happens, then that's also a lot more healing. So in a less coordinated group, you're going to have way more damage taken from bursting, way more damage taken from explosive. Uh, whereas in a more coordinated group, you, you'll be okay there. Another thing that's worth noting is because bursting is dispellable, effects like revival, dwarf racial, mass dispel, uh, really good effects against it this week. The healer can also single dispel one person who's in danger and then heal the rest of the group. That's often a good way of dealing with the, uh, the bursting affix if you don't have those. But if you have something like a shadow priest this week, oh wow. Mass Dispel, really good, right? You can kill like 10 mobs and then just Mass Dispel, no problem. Uh, huge amount, a huge amount of value on that, on that effect. Um, explosive, in very high keys and coordinated groups, this tends to be healer affix. This tends to be an affix where the healer is the person who puts that one global into most of the explosives to kill them. That doesn't trickle down into pugs. That doesn't trickle down into lower keys. In lower keys, anybody you watching this video, whatever you're playing, your groups will be more successful if you take it upon yourself to become the explosive killer supreme. Yes, if you're playing with a good healer, they will take care of them for you and then you can stop worrying about it. But in almost all cases, healers have a lot going on uh, in like lower, especially if, you know, bursting is being done badly and stuff. They got a lot of healing they need to do. Uh, and so don't expect healers to hard carry this affix in less coordinated groups. That's something that you know, if you're if you're in a group that's like pushing for thundering hero or something like that, you you can have a conversation with your healer about like, hey, you need to get the explosives. But uh, I I don't think it's worth trying to have that conversation in your you know plus twelve pug key. Instead, what you should do is you should be like, you know what, I'm gonna carry this keystone. I'm gonna try my best to kill as many of the explosives as I can uh, and take the pressure off of the rest of the group. It is worth noting, uh, explosives won't spawn from enemies that are stunned. So if you do an AOE stun. Explosives can't spawn for a while, and then when that AoE stun ends, there's like an ICD on the explosive spawning, so they'll mostly all spawn like immediately on the AoE stun ending. So uh, that can be a little bit overwhelming. You could follow it up with another AoE stun while you then take care of those explosives or something like that. Uh, can be a good strategy. It's also worth noting that several enemies don't trigger bursting. Uh, those would be like enemies like Scorchlings. Uh, enemies like Primal Gusts, I think. Pretty much anything that's worth like zero or one count when you mouse over it. I guess these these whelps do, but uh, most enemies, most little enemies, you know, these uh, these hungry lashers, these sorts of things tend to not trigger any of the on-death affixes, which are bolstering, bursting, spiteful, sanguine. Uh, 
Uh, those affixes don't get triggered by these little mobs, so uh, you don't have to worry about that being too big of a problem. Explosives, on the other hand, you will get overwhelmed by explosives in big pulls with a lot of these enemies. There are some bosses that have been fixed so that they're, like this boss, for instance, the little ads it spawns, I don't think spawn explosives anymore, but uh, any boss that has like a medium number of ads, uh, you got to watch out for explosives getting you. Uh, and also you got to watch out for, in a few dungeons, far explosives. So say you're doing these pulls in Nakud early on, right? And you've got like a longbow that is 30 yards away from the party sniping everybody. That can be spawning explosives, and if somebody isn't looking at that, uh, that can become a, a huge problem for you. So uh, make sure that you're always looking for far explosives, looking to get those taken care of. Um, yeah, beyond that, it is, a, it is a very good week for coordinated groups. It is not a good week for... Uh, some some In some pug situations, it's one of the worst weeks on the calendar. Like, bursting explosive are affixes that hugely dependent on what sort of group you actually find yourself in, so... Uh, within your pugs, you know, make sure that you're, make sure that you're, you're getting a good vibe from people that it seems like at least somebody else in the group is, is going to be looking at, at killing some explosives as well. Uh, make sure that you're, ideally you want to try and play in a situation where you're not going to roll those bursting stacks too much anyways, uh, as well. So, uh, if people are kind of on top of it and you remind everybody, uh, you know, hey, like, let's try not to, let's try not to extend our bursting stacks, uh, that can go a long way. Sometimes though, you know, these things happen, right? You you get a you get a little bit of extra damage from bursting or explosive, uh, and that is that's when we use our defensives. So, uh, yeah, do your best, do everything you can to try and help your healer out against these affixes. Health pot when the explosive goes off, those kinds of things can uh, can be a good way to try and try and save the key uh, if things start going a little bit awry. Anyways, that's it for this week in Mythic Plus. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.